Hello everyone, this video is about the Amy Cup Original Kit and this cup costs $43.66 USD and I'm going to do a quick turnaround of the box, you can pause it if you want to here are the items that you receive in the box and notice that it says hands clean this cup comes in two sizes, size small and a size medium. I'm not sure if they're going to incorporate a large in the future. It is made in Italy by the Athena Holding Company. Here is their email, uh, their website and their email address. I will leave their um, website in the description below uh, if you're interested in this cup. And I did purchase this cup in a size medium. They have a big sheet of instructions, both back and front, or front and back. And um, it's not all in English, it is different languages. But you'll notice here that it says small and medium. However, in their warnings and precautions, I really like that they include um, that even though they suggest these sizes for a certain person, um, it really dep depends on your measurements and your needs. So just because you're a virgin, it doesn't mean you have to use a small, and just because you're over 30 years old doesn't mean you have to use a medium. So I'm really happy about that. Um, there are pictures. Here are the pictures, uh, or here is a picture of what you get in um, each kit and on the back it actually has uh, quite a bit of pictures on how to use um, this cup and again it does say hands free hand or hands clean hands clean um, and that was the concept behind using this applicator um, a hands clean design um, you'll notice right here it says Lubri Cup, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I tried to Google search this, um, and I don't know what it means if maybe the cup was named that prior, but in the front it does say Amy Cup. It also has uh, some pictures down here of the cup. You can use it without the applicator. In fact, it is sold without the applicator, and also the applicator is sold on its own if you lose yours, or maybe you change your mind and uh, you had just purchased the cup um, itself originally. So here is the case that the Amy cup comes in, and I think it's a plastic case. It, it is hard. Um, it has some um, molding on it. It says Amy cup. Hopefully you can see that with that light and then patent pending right under that. It also says the same thing on the other side. It has two holes on the bottom of this container there and there and then also two up on top on the lid so your cup is not airtight. This is how the um, container looks when you open it. You do get a little bottle of lube and again it does have that other um, Lubri cup name on here. Um, and then you get the cup itself and a an applicator. So this cup is um, according to the website and the paper it says that it's made out of a silicone and TPE. Um, both the applicator and the cup themselves are made of these two items and uh, are made out of these two materials. And I, I've never heard of a cup being mixed like that, and I'm not quite sure how they do that. Um, so I'm going to go through uh, these items, and then I will show you uh, how they say to use this cup. First off, the um, applicator is also branded with Amy Cup. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to hit the light. So it says Amy Cup, and under that it says patent pending. Uh, one side has threads on it, and the other side does not. Um, it 
it seems to taper on each end. It gets uh, wider, seems to be wider on this side than it is on this side. And this is um, not really hard, but not really soft. And it does feel like a plastic, but you can hear it. And then the cup itself. The Amy Cup Original kit only comes in this opaque pink color. And the silicone TPE mix has this uh, grippy feel to it. It's a um, bit frosted. And if I print, push down on it or pinch down on it and try to pull my fingers apart, uh, my fingers don't slide right off of it really easily. It said that this cup is supposed to be a 60 shore, and I do have a cup um, that was tested at 60 shore, and they feel very different. This is a unique designed cup. I've never seen another cup that is anything like this. Actually, this is the first cup and first and only cup that I know of that has an applicator. This cup doesn't have a stem like um, our other cups do, like the um, Amy Cup Crystal. It has this tab here and it's flat and um, quite firm. I don't know if you can see that. And having this tab here actually helps give you a solid uh, flat surface to push on when you are trying to um, use the applicator to have it travel through there. You have something to press down on and uh, that the cup, the back of the cup doesn't cave in. So it's not really a stem and you can't really cut that off. Um, one, there is no seal between the this tab and the cup and two, you need that firmness for it to be able to be pushed through that applicator. Right under that though there are four grip rings and I think that's for um, if you don't use an applicator and you're trying to remove your cup you have something to grip onto. Uh, they're not really really raised and they're very thin. However if you are not using an applicator the cup still comes with these threads on it so you could probably use that as well. Um, they are quite raised off of the cup and they are quite pointy. Um, I'm trying to get a good shot of that. They're rounded but because they're raised off of this cup so much they seem to be uh, come to a, a sharp point at the tops of them. I don't know if you can see that. Can you? I'm sorry if you can't. Um, so the feeling of this kind of feels a little bit plasticky. Uh, the closest cup that I have to what it feels like uh, just kind of touching it is the Love Your Body cup. It has kind of a... Hmm, you can hear them. So some of the silicones, I know this is a silicone TPE mix according to the paper, um, but some of the silicones have um, just a different feel to it. Some of them feel more plasticky than others, and I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just noting that. Um, and so after these threads, there um, is some molding on here on the outside of the cup. And let me see if I can use the light it's going to be upside down just so that I can uh, get the light to shine through it and make it visible for you but it does say Amy Cup patent pending on one side and then the other side it has an M which looks like a W right now but uh, the M is to indicate that is it is a size medium on it. There's um, this ring around the top right underneath the suction release holes and it doesn't say anything about that on the paper, but what I'm thinking is either it is a grip ring. If you don't have the applicator, you can use it to um, hold onto your cup when you're inserting it or removing it. 
or it could also be kind of like a secondary rim where because it is raised off just a bit off of the uh, cup itself and a little thicker that it could help the cup um, to pop open easier. There are four suction release holes and they are not evenly spaced. There's two on this side and then two on the back. So if I press down on the cup, um, there are two here and two here. They're kind of close together and they're about medium sized holes and you can see right through them. They're not too wide but they're not pinholes either. Um, those are finished off okay. Uh, there's a little bit of a uh, note of silicone around it but it's not it's not really bad um, and those sit right underneath the top rim uh, there are seams going down the body of this cup starting from this side it goes up and around to the other side and um, Here's the other end of it there. There's also a seam that goes on the top of the rim all the way around. And they didn't finish that off very nicely. You can see little bits of silicone on each end there. And then all the way around the cup is kind of raised off and um, a little jagged in some areas. I wish they paid more attention to that. Um, taking those or cleaning them off. The seam that runs on the body of the cup is not raised like the um, seam up on the rim. The inside of the cup doesn't have any markings. There are no measurement lines. Um, the threads actually do not to come all the way through into the bottom of the cup. So if you were worried about your blood getting caught in those threads, the threads are only on the outside and again not on the inside. I did my own measurements of this cup and my measurements are a little different than their measurements um, that are stated on the website and I didn't write those down uh, but just know that if you are watching this video and you saw the website um, that these are my measurements of this cup. So it is 67 millimeters high and um, 47 millimeters in diameter. I didn't do a capacity measurement yet on this cup, but according to the website, it does hold 32 millimeters, uh, 32 milliliters, sorry. And I am thinking that it is probably to the top of the rim and not actually to the suction release holes. When I do a measurement, a capacity measurement, I will include them. Um, I'll update this this video with those um, measurements. So following uh, their instructions on how to use this cup, I'm just going to go you know, step by step how they say to use it. Uh, you would use the applicator, um, the unthreaded side, for inserting it. So the back end of this applicator, you would um, put lubricant on it, and then you would take your cup and fold it into a C-fold, and insert it like so. And um, in the picture, it actually shows this cup being inserted flush with the rim of the applicator, but I can't get mine to go in all the way. And also, it would make it even harder to push out. So um, I, I'm not exactly sure if it was meant to go in all the way or not. But it does say to apply more lubricant on the rim of the cup before you insert it into your body. And maybe putting the lubricant on the outside of the actual applicator, it helps move the cup in and out of it easier, but um, I'm just going through the steps I, and I don't want to put the lubricant on it. I didn't actually open this lube yet, um, but this ring is already free. Um, so I don't know if I want to use it. I, I didn't open it myself. So after that cup is inside of the applicator, you would insert this into your body like a tampon with the applicator. And um, it doesn't say how far you're supposed to insert it or anything. I guess when you feel a resistance, you would stop. Um, 
it doesn't say anything about which way the the opening or the um, this indent would go it just says to insert it so I would insert it and then you would put your finger in the back end of this and use that tab uh, that I spoke about to push the cup through um, and out of the applicator so this is supposed to pop open and be where it needs to be um, and then you remove the applicator and wash it off um, my problem with this is that uh, with all of my other menstrual cups I like to make sure that the rim opens and that my cervix is somewhere within this ring uh, if your cervix is sticking outside of it and it opened then your blood would just go down the side of the cup and be useless uh, it's just a pretty decoration in there if that's uh, what happens. So uh, I always insert a finger, make sure that the rim is open all the way around and that my cervix is inside of the cup and not hanging on the outside. So um, clean hands probably won't happen uh, if I have to insert a finger. So after you used the cup and it does say that you can use it up for up to 12 hours you would take the applicator um, you're supposed to lubricate the threads on the outside and on the inside and then insert this applicator when you're ready to remove your cup you're supposed to find the bottom of the cup place it around it and turn it a couple times um, I guess if you want to screw it in all the way you can or just enough just to get the, to the cup you can. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on correctly and I'm kind of worried that my delicate um, tissues will get uh, screwed in to that area as well. I don't know if it could happen but I'm sure it's possible. So. You're supposed to screw it on to the bottom of that like a light bulb and then shake this applicator until the cup releases its um, suction. And those are not the words that they used uh, per se on the instructions, but it's the same same meaning that you are supposed to shake this so that it, um, it releases the seal from your body and then you can remove it and keep it upright and then dump it out and wash both of these items. Um, the problem that I have with that is uh, with my other cups some of them seal really tight around my cervix or enough that if I pull down on a cup I can feel my cervix being pulled with it and sometimes I have to pinch the base of the cup to release that seal which I can't do with this applicator there or I insert a finger and actually push down on the rim to remove that or to break that seal and then when I get to the area where my urethra is I, I definitely like to push down on the cup before um, taking that out of that area a little bit of pressure from a uh, rim for me anyhow uh, over my urethra is not too bad but if some cups or with some cups their um, rim is so firm that it can be very uncomfortable or even painful to brush up against my urethra or even hit it on the way out so um, I just got into the habit of pushing it down regardless uh, so again not a hands clean design in my opinion um, and you also have two items to rinse and wash uh, instead of just the menstrual cup so uh, I don't know I don't know how I feel about that I don't want to have to carry this around um, but I guess for somebody that is squeamish for inserting or removing uh, this might be okay for them I would still probably find some trouble with uh, removing it at least uh, just for that s if the cup does create a seal inside of me. 
I haven't tried this cup yet. I'm a little scared to. Um, but I will probably try it at least once. I'm at the tail, tail end of my period this time around. Uh, but my cervix doesn't normally move a whole bunch between the time that I am menstruating and that I'm not. So I can use this or try this at any time um, on a dry run even. Uh, and it'll be approximately the same as if I had my period. I'm just a little scared to try it. Um, you let me know. Would you try this or would you have concerns too? What would your concerns be? Would you be worried that this would pinch you um, in your sensitive areas or do you have a different concern about it? Uh, let me know in the comments below and if you are looking for the Amy Cup Crystal I also have a video of that and I will include it at the end of this video. Um, I'm going to leave you with some photos that I took of this cup against some of the other cups that I have because it is quite a tall cup. Until I see you next time, take care! If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching!